Failing to recognize our employees after a win can be devastating for our business and cost us millions. A couple years ago, I was in Sydney, Australia for a speaking engagement. And after the event, there was a networking meetup where I met this American guy who was probably in his mid thirties. And I go, how did you end up down here? He goes, a couple years back, I was working for a large investment banking firm in New York City. And I had spent a year nurturing a relationship with a client and I put together one of our division's largest contracts ever. I was on the phone with this person five minutes before we went into the meeting when we closed it. And as soon as I sent the message to my boss that we'd closed the biggest deal in our division, before the ink was even dry on the contract, he goes, so what are you gonna work on next? He goes, I collected my bonus and I resigned. And with that resignation, they lost the relationship with this client and they also lost all the institutional knowledge about how he had built that relationship, nurtured that relationship and how he structured it in a way that helped to close. Something that he could have passed on to every other person in that division and other divisions to help them do the same. So as a leader, don't make the silly mistake of rushing on to what's next because that's what you want before taking that critical step to acknowledge and celebrate people's wins. And when we do, that's how we nurture cultures where people feel valued, where they feel appreciated, and where great work gets done. I'm Chris Littlefield from Beyond Thank You. If you found this video helpful and you're on YouTube, please hit like and subscribe and share at least one other person who will make a difference for. And together, let's build cultures where people feel valued and appreciated every single day. Take care.